Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Bassmaster Fishing 2022, and we are going to be checking out a different lake this time. Last time we were checking out St. Lawrence River, managed to find a really good hot spot for all kinds of species, and I think we're going to try to do the same here at Lake Hamilton, Arkansas. It's uh, apparently no nestled in the Wichita Mountains Hot Springs. So let's check it out see what it's like guys. I'm basically going to walk through all of these so we can get at least a look at them. Over time... Let's see, we got our Bassmaster default layout. We're going to start at 7 in the morning. I think, I think that's going to be good because it looks like it should be a peak for that time period. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Alright, we are ready to go. Kind of know what we're looking for now. I also now know how to mark these spots, which is really good. Let me take a look at the map here. I'm trying to see if I see anything that looks... Now, if I can get over to this area here, there's a bunch of small islands. That might be a good spot. I'm also learning that there are limits to these lakes. Some places you can and cannot go. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. That's as far as we can go. Ugh. Well, that was what I was afraid of. Look at that. That is as far as we can go. None of this is touchable. Damn it. See, that looked like a real good spot over there. Now we're going to have to make do what we can find then. Bit of structure over here. Also seeing more fish. seeing some fish. Oh, there we go. I think I got a white bass here. Yes. Yep. Not a big one, but it is a white bass and it is the first one on this lake. drop a little bit good strike I think it's another white bass but I can't tell Ah, largemouth bass, first one. Not gonna Two. set any records with that one, but it's a solid keeper. Cha chunk, cha ching. Two pounds, ten ounces. 
serious lag there, guys. Doesn't matter. Dang on. They are right there. Yes. And there's another one. A little bigger than the last one. Flippity flop. What do you got? No, I thought he was bigger. No, just a little bit smaller, actually. They're definitely going for that spoon. I think I got a snag. Yep. Yeah, when it goes out towards the main camera, usually that means you got a snag or a fish on there. Now, I don't know what that was. Looked like a trout of some kind. Perfect strike. I think it's a... yeah, it's a crappie. White crappie. I did see some bigger ones over this direction. I'm gonna see if I can't get their attention. Yeah, I like to let it sink as much as possible. This direction. Hundred percent. Now there's a major snag risk here. But there's also fish. Check him out. That's a blue catfish. see here what do we got so we got the what we're using we've got this little crawl natural now what are the blues going for though huh <laughs> booty shakers that's funny so large crankbaits, large swim baits, large soft plastics. Now the jerkalistic swim baits good size. Might just give that a try over there towards him. If we can get it cast that far. Maybe we can. Ah, snag. seemed all that interested.
let me try something different then. Let me see, we got that one. So they tend to go for large soft plastics. I think I already have a setup for that. Oh, hold on, just a minute. Let's see, here it is. I have the big tea fry daddies. Here's those worms they're talking about. That was a good one in some of the other games I've played. I think I might go ahead and purchase that. heavy too. That's good. You want something that's going to skirt along the bottom. I'm seeing fewer and fewer fish here. I think we need to move on to someplace else. I think I'm just gonna try a rattle trap and see what's out there to start off with. There's plenty of cover, just I don't know, I swear I haven't hit one spot here that's been overrun with fish. Unless I'm just not finding the right location. a lot closer in. I think it's another. No, it's a little white bass, I think. It's a black crappie. No, it's a white crappie. One pound five ounce, it's not too bad for a crappie. Let's try something a little bit bigger here. Can 
God damn it. Let's try that again. There we go. Now that was a walleye. Okay, that was a decent sized fish, whatever. There we go. What we, what is this one? Oh wow. That one's new. A freshwater drum. Three pounds, two ounces. I haven't caught one out of here yet. Might as well take a picture. He's my first one. Well, I think I found a pretty good spot here. Let me see. If you go to E and press waypoint you can mark where you found certain things and I'm going to mark it in green freshwater drum and other things There's a lot of them over here. Perfect strike. I think it might be another freshwater drum, I'm not sure. Oh. Ah, damn it. No, it's a little bass. Oh, would you look at that spotted cute bass. little baby bass? <laughs> spotted bass, huh? There's a lot of them over here. Another perfect strike. Another small fish, though. Another white one. Okay, there's a bunch over there. They're right underneath that brown stuff. I don't know what that is exactly, but. Whatever it is, it seems to be attracting them. Holy crap! I mean, none of them are very big, but it's a walleye. I haven't had to even <laughs> reel it in. Another largemouth bass. That toad right there? That's a little chunk panda. Another one. Okay, this one. Let's take that down a little bit there. He's a little bit bigger.
I don't think that was a bass, but I only got a quick glimpse at it, but it looked like a walleye. But it's much bigger. Uh, could have been a freshwater drum, and it is really strong. Holy crap, now that is a walleye. Nine pounds, eight ounces. Yeah, that is a walleye, definitely. So there are some big ones over here. You just got to get past all the little fellas. There's like a whole crew of them over there. <clears throat> I think it's another white bass. Yep. No? Large mouth. Flop, what bass. do you got? <sighs> I think I threw it up on shore. <laughs> falls in the right place. There's like three or four of the daggone things there. Ah. Another nice one. It's a white bass, good size. Now if I was in a competition, this would be the spot to be. Because there are all kinds of them right there. Let's see what happens if I change this to the jerkalistic. Oh, the freshwater drum. Whoa! And that, I think, was a catfish. Not a hundred percent certain, but I think it is. Yep, it is. It is a catfish. Oh, and he's not little. Yeah, these big brutes, they just muscle their way. Now that's a nice fish. That's a nice channel. 16 pounder. Oh yeah, definitely a fish fry happening there. It's 
So they do go for this door. Oh, look at that big one. There's a bunch of big catfish right there. I didn't think I had a fish. <laughs> Hole, oh, that's a nice white bass. Holy crap. Two pounds, four ounces, that's good size for one of those. hard not to keep going. I mean, I keep getting fish. It's either like feast or famine out here. There we go. That was another white bass, I'm pretty sure. another good size one. Last one's two pounds, this one's two pounds four ounces. Look at the catfish. Another white bass. Yes. So I don't think these would count though in a competition, but they're still a lot of fun to catch. And there's enough largemouth there; they would be, whoops, worthwhile. Darn near every time I've cast it out there, I've gotten something. Oh, you gotta be 
kidding me. Yes. Yeah, they're roughly about the same size. It must be like a school of them. About two pounds, four ounces each time. Sometimes all it has to do is float to the bottom. Got him. Now they've been all about the same size. He's probably two pounds, four ounces, or close to it. <laughs> two pounds, four ounces. It's like I said, I think there's a school. Getting deja vu here, guys. <laughs> All right. Obviously, we proved this to be the hot spot for white bass, so I may have to alter my approach on this. But anyway, guys, this is finally another good hot spot I found here. Might have to look further down see if there's any other species. There just happens to be, I think, might be a bridge over there. It also usually can offer some good cover. But I will check that out and see if there's anything down there. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Bassmaster Fishing 2022. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.